Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will do a spooky drawing with pen and ink based on a Mexican legend called the Tree of the Vampire, which I will tell you in a little bit. First, let's get the paper wet with this large brush. It is watercolor paper. We are preparing it to apply ink. Indian ink. Good. Now that all the paper is wet, let's apply the ink by dabbing the brush on it. The damp paper will make the ink run in very interesting patterns. Let's apply some more and leave it to do its thing. Awesome. And some more but lighter. We can dilute the ink with water previously to create lighter shades. With a tissue paper, I can take off the excess if it builds up in a little pool. And we add ink again, which we can direct by lifting the paper, tilting the paper from one side to another, depending where we want it to go. And also with the tissue paper, we can lift some ink to create the shine of the moon. Let me move the camera a little bit. And some clouds. It will not look like that once dry, as the ink will lighten up a lot. Once it is dry, we get the paper wet again, to repeat the process as needed and make it darker. If we apply the Indian ink direct, it will stay totally black, but if we dilute it with water, once it dries, it becomes even lighter. The list of materials is in the information below the video. If needed, we can fine-tune with a smaller brush. But I love this large oriental type brush because it absorbs a lot of water and a lot of ink. And although it is large, it has a very fine tip. Very good. Now let's hear the legend. It tells that long time ago, an Englishman arrived to Mexico, to a town near the city of Guadalajara. He was a little bit off, had no friends, and was extremely reserved. But the strange thing is that since his arrival, Dead animals started appearing, with their blood sucked. And after a while, also people started appearing dead, in the same awful way. So one night, the priest and a lot of other people from the town went to find what was happening and heard a loud scream from the woods. They went after him and found him biting the neck of a man. They chased him for a while and finally stabbed him in the heart with a wooden stake. Then they threw bricks on top of the body, creating his grave. Sometime afterwards, a tree grew exactly on that spot, developing from the wooden stake. It is said that when somebody cuts a branch from that tree, blood pours out, which is the blood of the victim. I hope that wasn't too scary. <laughs> Let's paint some more smaller branches with the finer brush. We give it the last touches, the last details, and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, and click on the little bell to get notifications of new videos. Have a happy and spooky Halloween and I will see you on Tuesday.